Today we're going to make an outdoor projector screen. I cut two 2x4s at 6 feet tall for the height of the projector screen, and I cut two pieces at 4 feet long for the feet. I made a mark in the center of what will be the feet of the projector screen and lined up the 6 foot length so that I could get my measurements for the braces. I used my chop saw to cut a 45 degree angle on another piece of 2x4 and lined it up so that it would be about 20 inches from the ground to the top of the braces. Then I realized there were some other steps that had to happen first so I switched over to the actual screen part of it. I used a 3x5 sheet of backer board for the screen, and although I knew the measurements, I wanted to make sure that the 2x4s on the back didn't stick out at all, so I measured the exact length and cut the 2x4s accordingly. I used a scrap piece of 2x4 to mark out what will be a notch that I'll cut out later with my jigsaw. This will make sure that the two pieces that go into the back of the board will have somewhere to rest. Tight corners with a jigsaw are a no-go, so I used my cordless drill to make a couple holes so that I could get it perfect. I wanted the 2x4 to fit snugly, so I cut the notch a little bit smaller and then sanded the piece that goes into it until it fit. I used construction adhesive to stick the 2x4s to the backer board and clamped them down with about 75,000 squeezy clamps. I used a couple more scraps to make sure that the 2x4s, when they slide into that notch at the top, that they know where they're going. Just a little bit of a guide. I used my random orbit sander to make sure that the 2x4s would slide easily into the notch. I then cut four pieces to attach over the guides and over the notches to make sure that the 2x4s don't fall out. I set my chop saw to 45 degrees again and cut the ends off of four pieces of 2x4. I then reset it to zero and it was just a matter of marking and cutting each piece to length. I then screwed all the pieces together in this particular order to try and get the maximum amount of squish. It was super awkward, but I used my handy dandy foot clamps and it all came out pretty sturdy. I then painted everything with exterior paint. As I was finishing up this project, it occurred to me that I had this projector screen to watch movies outdoors, but I had nothing to sit on. So I came up with a quick and easy design for an outdoor chair, which will be a video on my channel. Go watch it. Now, most of you know that I spend a lot of time on the road, so we decided it was time for me to have a generator. We got this really cool mini generator from Goal Zero, and it can be charged by a solar panel. That's right, the solar panel that you see behind it can charge this generator. It can also be charged from an electrical socket. What I like about it is that it's just, it's simple, it's clean, there's no gas involved, and I can just throw it in my car and go. And what better way to try it out for the first time than to hook it up to a projector and watch a movie in the middle of Joshua Tree. I had my buddy Mike help me set up the projector screen, and he also installed some hooks so that we could hang the Ryobi Bluetooth speakers from it. Too bad I only made one chair though, so thanks for the help, but sorry Mike, you gotta go.
For more detailed information, check out our website. And you can follow us on Instagram to see what we're going to do next. If you want to learn how to build this chair, click the link to check out the video on my channel. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up, and leave a movie suggestion in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, because there's a lot more coming your way.